In today's video, I'll show you how to set up the pass-through layer using Meta's SDK and use its styling feature to create this pass-through torch. Here I have my Unity project open which has been set up with the latest Meta XR all-in-one SDK version 64 and it has also been set up with all the player settings. You can also download this starter project from the link below. To set up our scene, we can select the main camera and delete it. In your project window, search for OVR camera rig. Make sure the search is selected for all. Select this prefab and add it to your scene. Now this comes with a tracking space which tracks your headset, your left hand, right hand or the controllers but you can't see it visually. Now in order for us to see it, you need to search for OVR interaction. Select the prefab, drag and drop it inside the camera rig and also search for OVR controllers. Select this prefab and add it inside OVR interaction. Now to add the pass through layer, create an empty game object and call this as pass through layer. Click on add components and add the OVR pass through layer component to this. Then select the center eye anchor. Here we need to set the clear flags as solid color. Select the background color and set the RGB values to 000 and set the alpha value to 0 as well. Then select the OVR camera rig and scroll down. Here you need to make sure that the pass through support is supported and if you scroll down you need to enable pass through as well. And now you can save your scene. Make sure to connect your headset using link or air link. If you're not sure how that's done you can check out this video over here and press the play button. You will see that the pass through has been enabled and you will be able to see your physical world. Alright now let's take a moment and explore the OVR pass through layer. The first parameter that we have here is the projection surface. You can choose between reconstructed and user defined. When reconstructed is selected, it's going to consider the whole screen as a pass through layer and you will be able to see your real world entirely like we saw earlier. If you select user defined, you can provide a projection surface and the pass through layer will act only on that surface, basically acting like a window into your real world. Now let's test this by creating a quad. Call it as pass through surface. Disable the mesh renderer, then select the pass through layer. Click on the plus symbol, drag and drop this here and click on update transform as well. Now you can save your scene and test it. And as you can see here, the pass through is being applied just on top of this surface. The next parameter is composting which will let you choose the placement and composition depth. Now you can choose between overlay and underlay. So underlay means that the pass through layer is behind a virtual object and overlay means that the pass through layer is ahead of the virtual object. And composting depth basically means that you can have like 3-4 pass through layers and you can give each layer a depth like 1, 2 and 3 with the priority given to 1 and then 2 and then 3. So let me just delete it for now. Yeah, so going back to this component, uh, let us test the underlay and overlay part. For that, let's create a cube, reset its position and place it somewhere behind like this. Let's see where the projection surface is. Yeah, so the surface is right in between and uh, the cube is just passing through the projection surface. So now if you save this scene and test it out. As you can see here, the cube, a virtual object, is ahead of the path through layer. While in play mode, you can select the path through layer, select the placement as overlay. And now you will be able to see that the pass through layer is ahead of the virtual object. And the last parameter here is the style which lets us set the opacity from 1 to 0. 1 meaning that we will be able to see the pass through layer and 0 means that we will not be able to see the pass through layer. And then we have the option to set edge rendering. So if you enable this and if you provide a color, it is going to draw the edges of your real world, whatever you are able to see. And finally, we have the color control. Now I'd highly recommend you to go inside play mode and test each of these parameters and play around with these values so that you get a better understanding of it. I will leave a link for the documentation as well. All right, now to create the pass through flashlight, let's select these game objects and delete it. Select the pass through layer, set the projection surface as reconstructed. The composting can be underlay and the depth can be zero. Set the opacity to one, uncheck edge rendering and we don't want any color control. Next open the center eye camera, select the center eye anchor and set the alpha value of the background all the way to 255. Then create an empty game object, call it as flashlight. Create a cylinder inside this game object. Set its scale to 0 0.1, 0 0.15 and 0 0.1. Then create another game object, 
and call it as light volumes and to this game object we need to add a component called light volume generator now you can download this script from the link below now what this script does is if you give it a prefab it is going to duplicate it based on the number that you provide here and it's going to place them at a distance of 0.1 between each other and it's going to multiply the consecutive one um, by a factor of one so the first one is scale is one the second one is two the third one is three and so on so it just becomes bigger and bigger all right now let's create the volume prefab so for that let's go ahead and create a quad preset its position scale it down to 0.8 in all the direction and set its rotation to minus 90 then in your asset folder go ahead and create a material and from the shader drop down select oculus selective pass through for the texture we can add the default particle set the inverted alpha value to zero set the blend alpha to reverse subtract change the render queue to geometry and after 2000 put minus one then rename the material as light volume and add this material to the quad next tag and drop the quad inside the prefabs folder you can also call this as volumes and delete this from the hierarchy select the light volumes add the prefab over here and save your scene and press play and as you can see here we have the pass through flashlight now this works on the concept of selective pass through where the environment is black and only the light volumes on which we have added the material have the selective pass through and that is why we are able to see the real world and finally we can add grab interaction to this flashlight by right clicking on it select interaction sdk add grab interaction click on fix all this will add a rigid body you can uncheck is kinematic and click on create this will automatically create the grab interactors and the interactable as well. Now you can save the scene and test it for the last time. And just like that, you have a starting point to create a really cool detective game. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.